believe we are live. So I'll say indeed, and greetings unto you, beloved and holy friend. Thank you for joining me again, for finding yourself on this conscious evolution. Today's stream topic is about the things we talk about. Right, this stream literally has like a on day something something melt more talked about something something as my title fractal that I've been participating in. So having things to talk about has been very important to me in so many words. And today getting ready with my with my showering, I was thinking about this this mosquito bite, this elaborate mosquito bite. I think a, a portion of my back or of my, my, what do you call them? My muffin top was like sticking out from my shirt or something. And then a mosquito, you know, kept landing on the same spot over and over and over again. And gave me like 50 different mosquito bite marks that swole up to be like a massive thing. And I was like, not very happy about that, as you can imagine. And yet, and yet, talking about it technically brought up the whole conversation of mosquitoes and talking about all of the interpretations of mosquitoes thinking about the ecosystem thinking about the discomfort thinking about the amount of people that have died due to diseases that mosquitoes carry thinking about the just the moment of rage right maybe somebody claps something and then gets to say something about that as well and the fact that I find so much value in having something to say, I, I was kind of bamboozling myself a little bit by thinking that that is a potential way to reframe the mosquitoes as I'm watching one fly around trying to find me probably right now. Yeah, if something uh, gives you something to talk about, is it more valuable? If you do not want to talk about it, is it valuable? I think there are lessons to be learned in both experiences, but I think in one of them, you get to share the lessons. Right? Yeah. Hope this is good enough to talk about today. Thank you, friends, for joining me. I see Pojo here already. Bless you, dude. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to give myself some more things to talk about. Uh, I'll talk about some sour diesel that I'm going to take a sip of right now. Click, click. Hey, Joy V. Feels a little bit warm. <laughs> There's still some left in the chamber. <laughs> there we go. I have some jelly bean <coughs> already in the grinder awaiting us as well but for now <laughs> all i have to do is be present for this moment there we go suddenly a, a sense of warmth washes over my beingness a deep sense of calm permeates my anxieties me and john I don't want to say we had a fight today. Technically, didn't have a fight. There was no fighting. But uh, things were said. Promises were made. Things were going to get did. And then by the time the 
what was said was supposed to be done wasn't did i said something and i unfortunately and i and i i think this is one of the things that i needed to talk about today and i need to talk about it more with myself to get better at it but uh when i have to say something or when something isn't done that was said that it was done and i have to say something about the something you said you will do it's like creating uh, deeper and deeper layers of sensitivity right and because i find myself in that almost like hurting state right that sensitivity that is like uh, having hot water burn your back a little bit is a burby watching me hello right and then suddenly because the warm water is burning your back you you make sounds right as you do unfortunately though the sounds i make when i am in some sort of psychological pain uh sounds like what's the exact words uh condescending is that the right word hey google define condescending and this is this is the second time i remember louisiana the one day there was a fractal about uh fruit juice popsicles and sugar right and i think that happened there as well having or showing an attitude of patronizing superiority more more definition let me show that one feels superior to be patronizing is that what patronizing means but in fact it's not it's more uh uh maybe okay okay i can i can i can feel like the the fractals open up as i'm trying to understand what this word means to me or so to someone else in them using it right because and this is a conversation we had even in talking about and i did apologize as well i, I want to make that clear you know for being an asshole so many fractals open my mind right now all right so the fractal was right and i and i said this as well uh there is like a an arrangement that happens in our house where i cook and i cook every day right i have cooked 96 to 97 percent of the meals we've eaten in this home and i'm mostly okay with it i am okay with it if it is properly appreciated and i have help with the dishes for example so there was this fractal of the dishes needing to be washed and you know danny charlene asked john if he can do it yesterday and then it didn't get done and then he tells me last night, Mel, first thing tomorrow morning oh, when I wake up, I'll, I'll wash the dishes. And I go, okay. And now, this is also alongside the frame of reference where this thing needs to, to be done. We won't do it right now, we'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and then, and then eventually it probably gets done, but not Like, for instance, the last time this happened, it got pushed to the point where I was again cooking and we again made more dishes and it had to again be put on and then only, right? So I reached this point where it is like 2 p.m. today, it's 2 p.m. today, right? Like waking up has happened a long time ago and Max is doing some washing, he's hanging some things and John is just chilling on the couch playing games on his phone and I go hey bro <laughs> why are you not washing the dishes <laughs> like uh like a dad like a dad would right and it's again it's not a it's not a I'm superior to you and now you have washed dishes it's not that at all it's uh, uh I have contributed to the making of the dishes by in part at least cooking food all right something that now you didn't have to do which is very nice all right and i want us to be on the equal plane 
of having contributed to this fractal so that we can both feel that way. And the only way to do that is for the dishes to get washed. Does my demeanor in that moment then communicate I am somehow of superior standing morally? Is it moral? Oh, no. Is it? Is there any ethics involved? Fairness? What does fairness even mean? What does fairness even mean? Fairness is probably another thing to talk about. <laughs> All right. What is fair? What is fair? I think our arrangement is pretty fair. I do think so. Maybe. Maybe I should just not care. I think, you know, and I, and I said this, right? This is one of the things that was articulated. I wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't have cared at all if there was no communicating to me of the intentions, right? Like if you, if you tell me something and then the, the thing, the something you told me doesn't thing or something, then suddenly I'm angry, right? Unreasonably so unreasonably so but if i haven't had uh, any expectations set maybe that's it right i do uh set expectations as a person and i have had a relative you know level of success in meeting the expectations that i set. so i mentioned that right that i would probably be more chill if there was no telling me what the plan was. Because maybe that's what it is. You know what? I'll take that as a wisdom, as something to teach myself. When you tell me what the plan is, I feel almost obligated to enforce it. Is that right? I don't think so. Is it right? I don't know. I don't know if it's right, but it does make sense knowing my character. And I, and I made the example, right? Like I can, I can tell everybody in the house, you know, I'm gonna be cooking food tonight. Everybody, I'll, I'm cooking food tonight. And everybody will look at me like, yeah, <laughs> of course you'll cook food tonight. You know, we're gonna be hungry tonight, kind of vibe. And tonight's gonna come and I'm gonna be cutting onions and chicken breasts and I'm gonna be, boiling noodles and combining them right like that's gonna happen whether i say it or not but in the same way if i say it if i now say i'm gonna be cooking tonight and then i don't then people find themselves like thinking to myself well, i'm so hungry right now you know when is the food gonna be ready oh yeah melt told me he's gonna cook tonight so i'm gonna wait a little bit longer and then a little bit longer becomes 10 p.m. and then it becomes 1 a.m. and then I'm like oh okay I'm sorry I was playing games this whole time and it's 1 a.m. now don't worry I'll I'll cook food tomorrow morning right that would be very upsetting to people probably and maybe I'm um again right stuck on fairness stuck on <sighs> responsibility stuck on plans Maybe it's the autistic nature in me. You know what? I'll, I'll take that as well. The, the autist in me, when you tell it something, once, once that, it's like it, it builds its entire worldview, right? The next 24 hours suddenly has that as a part of the fractal, right? And then when that doesn't, it causes suffer. <laughs> Wanting things to be differently. I am learn. I am grow. I am being given so many things to talk about and by talking about it, I am learning things about myself as well. So thank you friends for being a part of this conversation today. I'm pulling up my chat. I'll be with you friends momentarily. I see Pojo, Joy Vee, Manzano, and Jovan. Love you all so much. Thank you for joining me to the friends lurking as well. Send your blessings. It's on my bucket list to get an actual hug from Joy Vive one day, same. One day, surely, dude. I mean, it's easier for you. It's easier for you, George Mo. You live in the same country, bro. You would have to convince Joy Vive to see you first, Joe. The line starts behind Shell. Weirdly enough, weirdly enough, Sam, as I started reading your message about you'll have to convince her to come and see you first. 
I was like, I had like the whole shell fractal open in my mind. And all of the times that we joked about, you know, come on, Jovi, just go and smoke a joint of shell or whatever. And it was like, I don't need to do that. <laughs> I don't need to do any of that. So again, it's true. You're going to have to stand behind shell in line. You know, she's been knocking at that door. Ghost dogs for everyone. Sending you one back as well. The emerald, emerald triangle was on my bucket list. So I figured since I was on that side of the planet, I'd stop in for a quick squeeze. Emerald triangle. I'm happy I'm not the only one that's confused about what this word is supposed to mean. Humboldt County. Uh, I mean, I know about the Humboldt Seed Company. I don't know if, the, if there's any correlation there, but they, they do, they do good weed. A mosquito found me, but I found him as well. I think he knows that I know about him. Or, or her, probably, right? Did a quick 180. My vigilance will not falter. Freaking mosquitoes. Giving me something to talk about. Melt was just saying in yoga that it's in his bucket list to see the redwoods. You and Melt on an adventure together, Joe. Sounds like a reality TV show. Weirdly enough, maybe we should make it one. I'm sorry. It would be it would be good. It would be good. It would be good TV show. Me and you know Josh Po jo, our our Pojo. Pojo will be his, you know, content name of course. Pojo and Melt climbing redwood trees, you know, challenging to see who can climb the redwood trees the highest. And I hear you friends going, Melt, climbing a redwood tree is like climbing a wall. Yes. That's why it's a challenge. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna use, you know, like pokey pokey objects to traverse the tree higher i don't know if i want to fall down on those roots below <laughs> yeah it's part of the reality tv show it's the suspense it's nice to see you here zano bless you friend smash the dishes oppa i mean i don't know if smashing the dishes is the fractal either unfortunately we do wash the dishes for nice right it's nice having someone else cook food for you as well Right, just being able to chill and then before you know you have a bowl of food right in front of you and right, that's pretty cool in my mind at least i like this shirt this scarf combo i super like the contrast between the deep blues and the bright yellow slash oranges all right i find myself designing with these colors a lot maybe because of so that could definitely be it as well I mean, I created a bunch of art recently that has blue and orange yellow as the main color themes contrasting as well. So, yeah, get to make flowers with them colors too. Add more love and creative juice. Flowers for the feminine, right? I find that I tire easily of people whose actions don't match their words. Me too, Joy Vive. And i don't like tiring of people right that brings me great dismay feeling hotful is the word we have in afrikaans hotful is a combination of frustrated uh angry and like done that energy of i'm fucking done that is that is our word hotful i guess hotful right i don't like getting to the point of being hotful because i'm not a nice person i'm hotful is not a nice state to be in right uh angry frustration that you want to get done with right being in that state of being <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't induce you know positivity unfortunately especially so when it comes to wanting to love one another and it's it's not that i'm not loving right again the way that I see it is still from a perspective of uh, unwillingness to compromise, right? But seeing it as a as a lower dimensional fractal on a higher dimensional issue. Because how you do anything is how you do everything, apparently, right? I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true, but I do find, you know, a kernel of truth. Maybe there's like a 
maybe the words uh, is a bunch of layers that cover a small little nugget of truth somewhere deep in there. Mm, Melty and Pojo's Northwest Road Trip does kind of sound like a whole vibe. <laughs> Love is true. Java and happy, happy. No one likes doing the dishes. Keep up on them and cleaning your messes as you go will make it suck less at meal times. This I do as well, right? When I go and take my plates and stuff to the to the thing, I rinse them first. Like there's a little sp spongy spongy, right? It takes like two seconds. You can just get it mostly clean as well. So it will take an instance, right? No, no stuff getting dry and crusted onto plates or stuff like that. It's supposed to happen at least. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Make the dishes into food and eat them with the meal. I do love the idea of having like tortilla chip plates, right? I do not mind the idea of that at all. Long paper plates and plastic cutlery. T terrible for the planet, but at least there's the dishes sorted. Yeah, exactly. The whole terrible for the planet aspect. Maybe a dishwasher could work as well. Uh, can I have my humanoid robots, please, already? I just want some humanoid robots in my life already. Apparently, especially if you look at the whole new NVIDIA Groot system that they're building, every single person and their grandma is going to be able to build robotics and make it good, right? Relatively speaking, at least. Make it, make it pretty good. So it should get cheap fast. How fast is fast, though? Five years? In five years, I think I'll be able to afford a... A humanoid robot. But five years is a long time to wait for the dishes, bro. Like, there'll be a lot of dishes in five years. Can you imagine if you kept not washing the dishes and you kept being able to spawn new plates, right? Would you like fill up an entire like garage with just plates? Probably more than that, right? Even. Uh, emerald, because of weed! Oh, of course! Mix makes a little bit of sense at least i get it now thinking of like a, a nice nug as an emerald i wash the dirty dishes before i cook and clean my pots and pans before i eat the meal i just prepared it feels like it keeps the kitchen moving smoothly that is nice i have a i have a thing against eating cold food so that rarely happens for me though washing my dishes before i eat uh, mess and stress, heart full of hotful, hotful. Yeah, it's a, it's a. I know that Christian technically has an H in front of it, but the the Christian is again is like a. You're you're like cutting Christian. Christian, you're cutting that C, but you can't say Christian. You can't technically. Is that Slav down under? I don't want to dox you, and I don't think I will, but I want to say I love you, Boyana, so much. What a pleasure seeing your name here with us. Uh, where was I going with the things I was talking about? Hmm. Maybe not important. Oh, hotful. That yeah, not important. That is that is not important. Hotful is a is a is a G sound. Uh, like grass, like green. But our g sound doesn't go g. It goes grass. That's our grass. G grass. We say grass. Green. We say groen. <laughs> uh, you say gun. We say gevier. You say glue. We say gom. <laughs> Give me the gom. Give me the glue. Here. Give me. That's that's our our G song. 
Uh, as far as the kitchen goes, a uh, heart full of hot flow as far as the kitchen goes. I want to get rid of all but like two or three sets of dishes and silverware. That way the dirty dishes have their limit. What was I thinking? Opting out of having a dishwasher with all of these hand-me-downs. It's so crazy that that's the exact thing you say because my mind also went there. Of like, all you have to do is like cap. Cap the amount of things you can dirty only to like a certain set. It is clever. It is very clever. And I, weirdly enough, also have a whole dish shit. I didn't bring it. I didn't bring it, but I have a whole dish set of hand-me-downs. They're made. They're these like handmade ceramic dish dish pieces, and they're gorgeous. My mom hates them. Like it's not her fractal, but I love stuff like this as well. Like, the way the sun is now shining and creating a lensing effect. Maybe I shall. No, no, no. Maybe I shall still. Yeah, I can do. Man, none of these are good. Yeah, 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 this one, this one, this is the one. <laughs> Suddenly. Yeah, what the? <laughs> is this tripping you out as well? Good. Good. That's how it's supposed to be. What a government, yeah, right? The fact that my hands. <laughs> That's the thing for me. Like I'm, I'm fine of colors, but <laughs> that. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa! My countertop dish water has changed my life. I was the person who let the dishes pile up before I got it, but at least I live alone, and I was only angering myself. True. You were not telling uh, your roommate that you're totally gonna do the thing right and it's so weird i wonder i think i believe even that a lot of 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 roommate fighting is probably about dishes i wonder what percentage would i go as high as like 40 percent hmm? i think 40 percent would be a good number 40 percent of people fighting in as roommates is because of freaking dishes these colors kind of work with the rocks as well, huh? Don't you agree? It feels like it's supposed to be that way. <laughs> it's making me trip out as well. Bro, when we start ARing ourselves, and we have goggles on our faces with pass-through cameras. It's gonna get weird, right? Because in that fractal, I'll be able to see that that in my reality as well. What is that gonna do to my brain, bro? Is this what it's like to be in a dream? It does feel kind of like that. That's, that's what the filter is called. Dream, just dream. All right. You know what? If this is a dream, I pray that it's a good one. One filled with me being able to push right off of the surface of the earth and go floating into the air. That sense of weightlessness. I haven't had a dream like that in a while. It's been heavier. <laughs> Is that the slag as well? Goodness! Bojana and V-Slag all in the same day? We must be... We must be in a good dream right now. Mm. Yes, yeah, this dream smells like jelly bean. This, I mean, I don't know if you friends have had uh, many experiences that is familiar to this one, but another strain that also smells like this one is called Mimosa. Very sweet and candy, you know. Like, it being called Jelly Bean is very apt. I just saw a mosquito. Today's stream topic was inspired by the mosquitoes. But please, Mr. Mosquito. Please. Please leave my flesh be. 
You can take the blood, but don't give me the itch. <laughs> They've killed so many of us as well. I have every right to be angry. But that's not what we're here to talk about. One day, my dishes will be my own. That was a dream me and my mama had. First, I must purge. I love that. I would also like to do something like that, in fact. Just being able to like do some pottery. I would like to start with just some pottery, maybe first, before I start, you know, making my own dishes. Well, the colors, bless. This is what it looks like when you have astigmatism, when the sun is setting. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't get this. Uh, I get more like a, like a, like a lensing effect, right? And if I turn my head, that lens will shift. That's my mistake. That's the stigmatism I have at least. But it, it changes the way, uh, my my mind receives single point light, right? Like, like if I, for instance, stars or like a bright light far away or cars coming from the front of me, instead of seeing points of light, I see beams of light that extend into my field of vision. And I don't think it's safe, necessarily speaking, when it comes to driving at night. But it is pretty. I don't know if I want to fix it. It doesn't mess with my reading much, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Melty, it always amazes me how many different kinds of animal friends come to visit, listen to you when I sit here with you. Today I have a pair of mockingbirds and an agama lizard hovering around. Bless them. Weirdly enough, uh, I don't know if there's any correlation. But I have been diving into the whole fractal of trying to get a list going of a bunch of different spirit animals. And I've been thinking about spirit animals a lot. Thinking about the, the aspect of an animal that is spirit, right? That there is a certain type of spirit in a lizard on a higher dimensional level, right? In the same way that if you had to combine every single person there would be some truth arise from that combination, right? Of what a person is. The same thing is for like felines. Like even though our house cats and lions are very different in scale, if you combine all of them, there would be some sort of essence of cat that comes out of that for dogs, for... You, can, you see the point I'm trying to make, right? So on that level, there is some sort of higher dimensional spirit to an animal and the fact that you and this animal find yourself in the same space being drawn to one another in my mind is special if you choose to see it so there has been a fractal opened to make a, a an animal spirit deck like as we're talking about spirit animals look at the spider you see him he was on my hand oh, on my leg for a second little spirit animal right the spirit of spider the spirit of spider is real i uh in one of my uh experiences playing of lions had like a whole metaphysical conversation with what i now call the spider goddess right where that day we were like in a <clears throat> in a very naturey area there was a river there were trees we would kind of like go into the forested area and as we were going into the forested area there were constantly spider webs getting caught in my face and there was this deep sense of discomfort because i was in a very sensitive state of mind and now i'm feeling these spider webs and at that point in my life every time i felt a spider web my mind uh, instantly associated slash attached the feeling of the spider web with if there is spider web on me surely there is spider on me right now as well and the fact that there is spider on me means that i have a higher likelihood of getting bitten and then i would spiral right and it would mess with me and it messed with me over and over <laughs> and over and over again the whole day right multiple spider fractals 
sit next to the fire, see spiders running around on the floor, try and go into the woods, get spider webs in your face, go next to the water, see spiders, you know, in the trees above the water, like just spiders everywhere. And then the, the day kind of like runs to an end. I'm sitting around the fire again. I'm laying back in my camp chair and I'm looking at the, the canopy of trees closing over in on me, right? Of the fire in the middle of it. And it looks like, again, the body of a spider in the middle and all of these branches going outward looks like spider limbs. And I feel like I'm looking at what I called spider goddess. And it felt like the way I was articulating was like it was watching me. No matter where I went, right? That there were spiders everywhere through which eyes she could see, right? And then as I was looking at this like tree expanse, night sky, fire fractal, it felt like she was trying to reach me. And it was like a reaching of, uh, like, and, and there was also conversations during that day of like threads of, of like time connecting, you know, like the web that is us as a society. There was a lot of conversations leading up to that experience as well that made it feel very synchronous and special, right? Like I was having this, this communion with what I would, co again, consider technically now the spirit or the spirit of the spider and and the lesson she basically is that there are two forms of interpretation of being watched right there is the one interpretation where every single time i kill a spider or fear a spider or do something scaly in the world with a spider somewhere watching me she sees all of that stuff right or the other side of it I can acknowledge the fact that that is what's happening. And every single time I see a spider, I can be kind to it. Every single time I am, you know, in the world acting in certain ways, and there could be potentially spiders and their little eyes pointing at me with the spider goddess watching through them. She can see a version of me that, that grew up, a version of me that became better, and that version of me who would mess himself up every single time a spider web would touch his face, right? And creating a sense of like hopeful pride in this, the spirit of this animal, you know? And yeah, I've shared this story before in minor detail, but there is there is something about these spirit animals we, we share this plane with. And I do, we will create a deck, you know, that has like, that is a reading. And we will have it on stream and we will pill spirit animal cards i look forward to it okay they love hearing the mouth apparently this is so cool it looks like you're bending space i am right like you friends have been joking about me being uh being an ai this whole time little did you know I'm just, you know, now playing with my settings. I have, like, uh, reduced the opacity of my rendering down to reduce when it gets out to the edges. To the point where it, <laughs> it takes a time to render back in when I get close to myself. I don't know how they're doing it, but this effect is amazing. Like, I really, I really like it. Like, it's, it's so, I mean, it's, of course, me AIing in the background. Totally. I'm seeing Dynavap somewhere in chat. Where did I see that? Did Joy Vive say something about Dynavapping? Duck melt. I got a Dynavap. That's not. <laughs> Joy Vive got a Dynavap. <laughs> Duck Dad, are you seeing this right now, bro? Are you seeing? <laughs> Joy, nice. Do you like it? Don't melt off your lip skin. Yeah. Please don't. This end stays away from your fleshy bits this end is cold <laughs> uh it'll be here next week doc you've made the purchase are you getting the new one are you getting the new one joy Vive? 
the 2024 one because a new one came out. I don't know if you know about it. Uh, a part of me feels suddenly like I'm, uh, what do you call it? Backseat shopping. Because if you bought one of these, they probably would be on sale. They might be cheaper right now, right? This this model exactly. This is the 2023 model. But the 2024 model is out right now. At least in America, I think it is. It has a different texture. A little bit more, I think, going to be like matte textures instead of as rough as this one is. And I think it has a different uh, back piece and a different little condenser tube, which looks like it's more high quality. And I think because of the new mouthpiece, that condenser goes into the mouthpiece instead of having to be, let me show you, instead of having to be suspended. This one is suspended in the middle with like little O-rings. So, yeah, I think the new one makes even more of the engineer in me go. Mm. Yes, yes, mm, good, 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 good. Who knew they had hippie filters? No, I'm getting the new one. I'm getting like the cheapest one, the B. Okay, that's fine. The new one was on sale. And you even got a second vape. It's a freebie, but I just not sure that I wanted that. The new one was on sale already. But yeah, get the cheap one. Weirdly enough, I've been, I've been you know, like encouraging John and Max to get the cheap one as well. The B one has like a little silicon back, but the, the part that's important, love you, Nancy. Thank you for joining us. I see you sending you blessings. This this is technically the part that's important. You can You can technically... It feels like sacrilege and just saying these words, but you can take this bit and attach it to a carrot and then make this end hot and it will still do its job. <laughs> Technically. So, yeah, you get this bit, you know, with the, the cheaper silicon ones and the silicon ones you can throw around if you want to and it will, it will not get bent or have little holes in it. All right, I'm gonna go back up again. Love you, may it bless you. May not breathing any carcinogens make you feel lighter still. Make you feel like you are on top of the world. Make you save so much money being able to buy a little bit of bud and watch how far it goes. Watch how tasty it is as it goes as far as it couldn't go, right? Yeah, 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 fragments, fragments. Love, 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 love. Love to you, Choi V. May it be nice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Good morning, peeps. Good morning to you again, V Slag. Mel has ghost hands. Mom is like, I normally don't wake up early enough to catch you. My goal is to one day wake up to do Zoom with you. We do Zooms every day, technically speaking. We have like yoga classes. I do have like a little bit of a conversation. As if I turn my camera left and right just a little bit. You friends feeling that? <laughs> uh, I love how the time change allows for the better opportunity for new and old friends to be here. V slag, long time no see. It's funny you say that as well, actually, Jovan, because during yoga today, uh, I was thinking about something that I think Nancy asked one of the days, where she was like, "Can you make more money if you do more streams?" And I I remember mentioning that technically. Uh, we don't get paid directly for the streams. If we're getting paid for the streams, it's because of your friends' donations. And that's not exactly the best way, right, to go about it. And then I thought to myself, even though that is still true, uh, it will still give more friends in different time frames or time brackets opportunities to join into the space. Where some streamers might stream for like 12 hours a day or something, I don't know. I don't know. Right, that, that might be a little bit extreme, but for multiple hours a day. So there's multiple hour frame limit opportunities for people to actually take some time and find themselves in that space. So maybe, maybe there's some room, you know, to do stuff like that as well. You can do it slag. I used to be a night owl myself and I get up early every morning for yoga. It is true. Javiv has been very consistent with it even on top of that. 
Like she made the switch and she sticked to it. I have an animal spirit deck. Maybe I should pull one with you at the end today. Pull one for me now, if you don't mind, Zano. There might be some hubris, but I would like some 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 wisdom. Right? Something to talk about. That is today's dream topic. I have been holding on. Clutching this Dynavap like a lady clutches her pearls going down a shady alley. Knowing something might await for me. Love. Love is true. Without further ado. No, 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 no. I love wonderful ones. That sounds so sick. I'm gonna read Nanji's comment in a second. Yep, 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 yep. Is that Kartha? It is. Bless you, bro. Today's stream topic is about the things we get to talk about. How, in some level, the fact that we have experiences good or bad, gives us something to talk about at the end of the day. And all of us have been in that experience where we find ourselves having to be quiet, feeling like we're too quiet, like there's nothing to be said, right? And I believe that is a travesty when you're in that experience where you feel like something has to be said, but you don't know what to say. When I mean, you're just sitting there and you're like, at least, if there is a disagreement, there is something to be said. There's an exchange that can happen. If there is agreement, then there can be an exchange on that, right? Like, the agreement can be solidified. But if there's nothing to be said, that leaves things stale, uninteresting. So, it's like a reframe for me of, like, when a mosquito bites you and you suddenly itch, now you have something to complain about and then that, that person might have also gotten mosquito bited and then they get to complain about it and then you can talk about you know wishing they were all gone and then you can talk about like yeah the scientists you know did an ecological study and then suddenly you're in a train of thought having a conversation about something completely differently because this annoying little pest mosquito bited you right like seeing the expansiveness of the things we get to talk about is that a shell we were talking about you i pulled the spider no zano stop no zano please i know i know i know that that shit happens in this stream all the time but still that's <laughs> that's wild the fact that we had a little spider, you know, like, as I was talking about the whole spirit animals because of Bojo, I have a little spider on my leg, and I show you friend's spider, and then we go down the spider goddess fractal, and then I, I saw Zano saying something like, all past, present, and future goddesses are spiders, and I love that as well, and then she pulls the spider card from her animal deck, yeah, yeah, love is true, have I told you, have I, have I told you the good news? love is true yeah yeah I, I am i am green screened this is totally green screen bro this is not a real real world this is dream 
You are asleep right now. It's time to wake up. It is time. It is time, right? I will come. Shaking. Screaming at the gates of consciousness for you to come out. For you to come and meet me at the gates at the very least. Right? You don't have to open the gates. You can just watch me scream. <laughs> okay. Uh... Nancy was telling us about an event that's going down in September where you will be able to see uh, star system T Cornea Borealis TCRB explode after a thermonuclear reaction. Happens once every 80 years. I don't know about that part. Maybe a thermonuclear explosion happens like once every 80 years average or something. But I don't know if that's same star system is going to explode every 80 years. Maybe that's just me being autistic. <laughs> Probably. Once in a lifetime for sure. I would love to see that. Can you give us the exact date? I hope I'll be able to see it. I hope I'm on the right side of the stars or whatever. Speaking of animals, lots of hummingbirds have been around in the backyard lately and getting quite close for a skittish being. I love hummingbirds so much. Watching them move through space and time. It's so freaking awesome. I love hummingbirds. Do you have feeders in your backyard, man? Maybe it's time. You are not having a stroke. <laughs> if, you're, if you love hummingbirds, they are heavily attracted to the color orange. Nice. If you place orange ribbons on trees and such around your home, it will attract them. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that, though. Right. Maybe, maybe grow like some of those, uh, I'm going to butcher my plant knowledge. There are these plants that have like a long stalk, green stalk, and then that stalk explodes into these little mini, <coughs> mini stalks. And then those little mini stalks open up or have these little bells that hang down these orange little flowers. But I made an orange flower day before yesterday. And I feel cold to show it. Man, this dream effect is... It's like doing things to my flowers as well. Doing things to my brain. I am seeing things. All right. Enough. <laughs> Enough distracting yourself, Melt, he says to himself. Before I stop distracting myself, you want to be more distracting? This was yesterday's flower. I am so proud of the way this one turned out. The filter is definitely changing the way my art looks, but I don't know if I am mad at it. Like these little sheppy sheppies. Mm. Make beautiful things. Share beautiful things. Thank you again. Thank you again to the Patreon friends that are supporting my work. And for you offering me your eyes in this moment so I can show you pretty things. <laughs> crazy fast shipping otherwise yeah bless i mean i got mine in like a day my dynavap from cape town so i think you should be fingers crossed getting it soon very soon creepy the only thing i don't like about the dynavap is that it has to be cleaned a lot more than i do yeah i find deep satisfaction like like an unreasonable amount of satisfaction in cleaning my Dynavap, right? Because I have mastered the technique. I have a single bamboo Q-tip with two little cotton swabbies on it. Then I take my Q-tip and I have a dropper bottle filled with electronics, alcohol, ethanol, same difference, right? Then I drop drops onto that little cotton swab until I can see it saturate. 
and then I go and I clean the very tippity top that is cooked enough for me. I cook the inside of that thing. And you can see, right? I still think it is relatively clean. There's a, a piece of weed in there every now and then, but you can see the side walls are still glistening. They're still silvering. Right, it's dark in there, but they're very silver. So I, I clean the inside of that one first. Then I take it off. And then I, with the same one, will clean the inside of this one as well. Eventually, I do swap it around. And depending on how clean this little pipe is, and it's usually clean because it doesn't really see that much action kind of vibes, right? There's not many pass through through this one. There's one through the middle. Uh, I'll just do like a basic wipe down of that one. And then after I cleaned this basic bit with one Q-tip, I literally strip most of the cotton off of it. And then that little Q-tip basically goes perfectly down that hole. And then it's like a, a few seconds thing, right? You run it back and forth. You keep dabbing drops of alcohol as you go as well. And before you know it, with a single Q-tip, you have succeeded. You have set out to complete the mission and find yourself successful at the other side of it. Right, and I and I feel again, since this is something that I I, I bought for my health, cleaning it is again uh, a certain level of self-love of like, yeah, I deserve this. This is nice. This is nice thing to do for self. Nice, nice, nice. Self will like. Do it. <laughs> do it try try do try do more <laughs> i don't know how how often do you clean it like how often have you cleaned it since you've had it maybe that's the question i'll clean mine maybe once a week give or take once a week mm -mm 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 -mm. i'm trying the carrot thing for sure <laughs> please no uh the carrot one thing that I admitted to mention might zap some of your heat. Not really, though. Maybe a little bit, but it won't be that bad, actually. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I didn't think about that, dog. I do be lazy. It's fun! It's fun! I promise, says the autist. <laughs> that likes meticulously cleaning something with electronics alcohol, right? Again, you do it like it's a game. You, you set yourself up and you go, what do I want? I have this thing that brings me joy in my life. This thing that brings me joy in my life will successively bring me less and less joy if I don't clean it. So I am going to clean it. That is my objective, clean Dynava. Now I, I can, and this is again, this is why it brings me so much joy. Maybe, maybe you should, uh, when you get it, clean it badly. Right, make it as uncomfortable as possible. Like, go outside, do like five, you know, runs around the block, do five push-ups, and then you do like, you know, one rinse of your Dynavap, and then you do it again, and then you do like a second rinse of your Dynavap. And then by the time, right, you come back to it, going through the Q-tip practice, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping the gun here a little bit. When I just got it, the, the way I cleaned it was basically the same way you would try and clean electronics, right? Where you can put them in a bath of alcohol, clean alcohol, like, like extremely zero, zero water content alcohol. And then you can heat that alcohol up. Technically, you have like uh, supersonic vibrators that vibrate your objects as well. So it like is, it becomes an abrasive on the alcohol so it washes it even better. I don't have one of those yet. But that's basically the way I thought I had to clean it. Literally soaking it in alcohol. So I used so much alcohol, an absurd, an unreasonable amount of alcohol to try and clean it. And then I discovered the method of using the Q-tip and being able to, to literally use drops, actual drops of this thing that I used to have to throw volumes off, right? Like I had to cover at least that deep in alcohol and it was like mm, this is a resource i'm using and it's 
evaporating into the air and that's not good and all of the mind stuff so now i'm getting to use the little cute to to go through the cleaning process it feels so efficient like i'm doing something good for both myself and the environment right i'm using bamboo q-tips cotton i do believe at least in that form is relatively biodegradable so yeah yeah does it make sense a little bit somewhat like again do try when you get it you know the whole running around the block while trying to clean it that way the discomfort of the first try is gonna set you up neurologically that all of the other ones successively is gonna be easy i'll pull one bless again for that spider card zano i'm still tripping out about it uh, part of me is dissociating a little bit it's like yeah that totally that doesn't mean anything or whatever you're not special <laughs> it says joy i find the best way to clean it is a small dish that you fill Is Duck Dad giving Joy Vive instructions as... Is that dude still moving? You were the inspiration to today's stream. Creature. I'm sorry for smiting you. But I, I was watching him uh, plan. I was watching him connive. I was watching him rub his dirty little antennae together or whatever. Planning on eating my flesh. And I couldn't have it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, let me read that again. Best way to clean it is a small dish you fill with 91% isopropyl alcohol. Break it down. Let all the parts soak submerge for 10 minutes and use pipe cleaners. Yeah, that's how I started doing it, bro. That's the worst way to do it in my mind. I'm sorry to be like so, sort of oh, steady stark. But that, when you fill a whole dish with isopropyl alcohol, it's wasteful. It is wasteful, unfortunately. The Q-tip method is the superior method, bro. Any day. Any day, I'll stand up for it. Any day. And again, you're also dealing with uh, O-rings, right? You got O-rings. O-rings do not like being soaked in iso alcohol. They don't like that. Right? So you're also the longevity of your product. Of the thing that's supposed to rest, wrong time. Mm-mm-mm-mm. AFK adoring y'all. I think my hands be busy for the rest of stream, but do that. No, I'm turning your friends word waves of expressions into mind waves of lovings, and I'm sending them back to you all doubles. Thank you, Xia. Oh, Autogen, our goodbye message when it comes to it. Thank you for sending some lovings. Something to talk about. I don't have much today. Wishing you and the community well even though it may not be reciprocated at all times. It is truly all love here. Love is true, bro. That, that is unfortunately, you know, like a, it's like a hard fact to me. It's not necessarily a, a fractal of like, yeah, because love is true, then uh, everybody will treat you just this way, right? It's more because love is true, you exist at all right and if love wasn't true for even a split second you would cease to exist oh bro i saw one mosquito going for the underneath of my legs and then when i tried to slay it i saw like three mosquitoes come out from underneath my legs <laughs> something to talk about love is true right again despite the fact Despite the fact that there are literal parasites stealing from me, injecting me with their little fucking anti livas, causing my body to create a, an inflammatory, you know, response, spiking my cortisol in the act thereof, probably. Who knows? Love is still true. I could not be experiencing anything. I could just be in the void i could be 
dead right now. I could be nothing at all, and yet here I am, something instead. That is what love is true means to me, right? It's a, uh, it's not a woo woo thing. At least in my mind, it's not a woo woo thing. It's more a fact. Like, yo, this is how it is. Love is true. Deal with it. Kind of vibes. Deal with it. How, how are you going to deal with the fact? The good news that love is true. How are you going to deal with that? That's that's what we're talking about. At least in part today. Going to take duckling bowling for the first time today. She said she wants to try it. Nice. Uh, I still can't bowl myself. Um, I, unironically would ask if we went bowling together if i can have the kitties bumpers up i'm serious <laughs> i'm not joking I'm, <laughs> I'm dead serious my uh technically i've played one game of bowling in real life and the rest of my bowling experience is basically uh wii sports which i don't think counts not really mm, Kartha, who, Kartha, who isn't Kartha. Bless the rest of the Melbourne community. Love to you. I pulled the spider. I had to dig the cards out from under my bed, and it was the first card I pulled. Holy. You are holy indeed, Zano. We are the oracle, dear friend. Surely we are here for a reason. Surely, like, the amount of synchronicity we have experienced means something. Is that my own hubris speaking? Yeah. <laughs> At least that's what a part of me wants to believe. I don't know if it's the highest part of me. I think it's more the realistic part of me. The part of me that doesn't want to get its hopes up. Isn't that sad? Right? That there's a part of us that don't want to get our hopes up. That want to just... Kind of... Survive. For now, for now, it is that way, right? Surely not for long. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Have you heard the good news? Love is true. I love that. Thank you for repeating it, Joy of You. Melt has not lost his arms. No. No, my arms are very much attached to me. <laughs> I am totally not possessed or whatever. No. It feels kinda nice. It feels kinda nice. You know, I was like I was like wondering, why am I doing this? And I was like thinking, yeah, it's, it's going to give you something to talk about. I pulled the rock off. It's not a very particularly interesting rock. I mean, this side has some interest to it. You can see the crystalline structure underlying still. How long did that rock stay there? Until I mingled. Probably many years. I mean, technically... Hundreds of millions. Uh, all of this rock, right? Like this, this whole face got literally chipped away. Like they jackhammered this face away. To make, oh, like, room for this home. Technically to make room for a road first. And then to make room for this home. Them rock.
This filter makes me process information differently. I wonder if it does that for you too. The mosquitoes are eating me. I breathe. I breathe and I remind myself, hey, oh, love is true. Despite the fact that the mosquitoes are eating you. So, deal with it. I'm dealing. I'm dealing with it. Thank you very much. I just wish I had the ability to, from a distance, smite them. That sounds like a psychopathic behavior melt or a psychopathic one. Maybe. Maybe it should be a scale thing, right? Like mosquitoes is where the scale ends. I don't need to be able to, to smite, you know, mice from a distance, right? I don't really have that big of a problem with mice. Mice don't come and inject their proboscises inside my bodies or whatever, right? <laughs> Just want to be able to force kill a mosquito in the air. Is that too much to ask? The universe goes yes, dude. There's a reason I made the rules so you don't get superpowers. And one of my fractals that I, I, I've been thinking about a lot is that all of us, like every one of us, is AI, right? You are an AI on another plane of existence, being put in this plane of existence, convinced, right? Given parameters as to what you are right, this ego self. And then in this environment where you coexist with a bunch of other AIs that at least in this frame of reference have uh, feelings and can be affected by your actions kind of vibe, there is a, a test being run to see how this AI that you are fits into this kind of world. And then depending on how you fit into this kind of world, you have different kinds of purposes in the higher dimensional one. Where was I going with this? Yeah, just as that is a thought experiment, something to something to think about, right? We might not really talk about it much today, but it is something to think about. Let me see. Isn't there some special event April 8th as well? I keep hearing about April and September, hopefully. The total solar eclipse on the 8th. Oh. I got to experience the last full eclipse in OR at Cornvallis. The orange ribbons are for us northern climate folks until the flowers actually grow. Okay, makes sense. Um, I mean, I'm, I was talking from a, a place of ignorance as well, right? Would be very me to anthropomorphize and feel bad for the burbs coming towards orange ribbons, right? It's like, no, no, it's not like that. Dude. <laughs> Still, I think, I think, sometimes. My keyboard is replacing, bless you, bro. Cornvallis was right in the path of totality. Whatever year I got to witness it, it was a totally cool experience for sure. I posted a spider, didn't read it, so Melty can read it. Thank you, Zano, I'll read it soon. Maybe, you know what, today's, I don't know if you posted the card as well, but today's card pull is gonna be Zanos, 100%. Like, there's no way we're reading anything else. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I find deep satisfaction in cleaning stuff too. If I had time, the difference in freedom of being a parent versus free man. That is true. I literally uh, have the luxury, duck dad, of having just dynavapped and then getting to sit in that experience and look out you know, on the trees. I'm just, I just saw another spider. Look out on the trees, you know, see the rock face. And then in that state of like, oh, be able to, you know, take the time and painstakingly clean my Dynavap, right? Or, you know, as I'm watching something on the TV, you know, take the time and clean my Dynavap. So I have that level of freedom and I get, it's not necessarily that way for all of us. This is a truth. Mm -hmm. I think the reason cleaning your marijuana pieces is because you are making the mess, you know. You're cleaning your own mess, so it's rather cathartic. Nothing feels better than getting clean, and I'm not a neat freak or a germaphobe by any means, but nothing beats a cleansing shower or a cleaning your room or car, etc. Yeah, you're right, Kartha. 
like the experience of taking a nice proper hot shower again after like a long day of sweating you know getting like a bunch of grime like dirt and dust on your face like there is a deep sense of catharsis right isn't that the right word hey google define catharsis catharsis the process of releasing and thereby providing relief from strong or repressed emotions Yo, that is like the the perfect word fantastic vocabulary for that exact situation we're in all right i clean mine once a week but it's pretty gnarly after a week i mean once a week is good i think it's not that gnarly i don't know how much are you using it that's probably the thing as well and it's also probably a matter of how warm you make it right mine mine get close to brown i usually don't go down like to like a completely brown look on mine and, and if it if it goes like completely like char black in there you've already overdone it as well and then if you overdo it like that it might end up resonating onto the side walls and into your little mini chamber in the middle this is me backseat dyna vapping sorry not the double tap smite of the mosquito he was still moving I, then I felt bad, right? Like it would be, it would be more humane. It is more humane to just insta smite the mosquito, but it being half smitten. I don't think that's the right word. A half smited also feels wrong, but you know. And then still moving half, right? Like that's that's torture. That's like, that's not okay. I don't want to torture the mosquitoes for biting me. I just want to kill them. I don't, know, I don't know that sounds better who is the better person the person who tortures <laughs> or the person who slays oh no dude maybe that's something to talk about i reuse several times if i use alcohol too yeah but that again like the reusing of the alcohol it gets all brown there we go yeah it gets all brown and then that brown basically is like resin so that resin because it's now the liquid is brown is now a parts per million distribution within that alcohol solution so as soon as you use it on your parts it is depositing a parts per million of that solution and if it evaporates that alcohol it leaves behind a very thin layer of sticky material sticky oily right material and that's that is no bueno for my senses right like very much no go if i feel that i'm suddenly not having a good time oh my dynavap is sticky anger i need to wash it again it says and i will literally not do anything else i will just i'll, I'll drop things i'll be like okay guess this is or i'll just not touch it until i have the time to clean it <sighs> love you nancy thank you for joining us friend it's always nice having you here We'll see you again soon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have a drawer of O-rings, and it used like two ounces of alcohol, a bottle of 91 of Oz. Yeah, not here in South Africa. Here in South Africa, you pay about 200 rand for 500 mils. So it is $10 for 500 milliliters of 91. No, I think mine is 98% because it's electronic grade mm, two ounces of alcohol i don't know what that ounce is still bro i don't got two dollars to throw around like that two dollars is like 0 0.1 percent of the camera i want to buy i mean <laughs> i'm more serious dude i'm I'm like literally pinching as much money as I can. Like I don't want to feed myself kind of vibe. So I can get closer to being able to afford that freaking piece of tech. Manifest. Manifest harder. Manifest. Uh, one drop of orange oil goes a long way. Mm, that does sound nice. Y'all are reusing cleaning alcohol, I guess. More importantly, why? Like you use it and then pour it back in the bottle. Yes, Joy. Back in the bottle. I don't even know it was reusable. I mean, 
technically, right, like what makes alcohol good at cleaning things is that it's literally uh, a solution and things are very soluble in that solution. In other words, when alcohol, alcohol's molecules are set up in a way that it will rip things off of other things because the other things have more of an affinity to that solution than anything else. All right, which is great, fantastic. If you're trying to clean an oil off of a piece of metal or a resin off of a piece of metal, right? It's great for that. However, putting it in your body, not so much. <laughs> uh, we're back. We're back in messing with people that drink alcohol. Please smoke weed instead. It's better for you, I promise. No, no, don't smoke it. Vape. Vape your, your weed. Actually, don't listen to me at all. I don't know what I'm saying. <sighs> like, I've, I, the amount of stress that has been induced by just feeling like, you know, people will take me out of context. Be like, oh, he's not joking. He's, he's giving me advice right now. I need to follow his advice empirically. I'll be like, no, please. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm speaking from my own lens. There's billions of us on this planet. Billions. I mean, billions. <laughs> I just had like just for a moment that clicked again. Oh goodness, there are billions of us. Billions of different stories, billions of different things to talk about, right? Like we we can we can talk so much. I've had so many conversations about mosquitoes in my life as a human, yet there is infinitely more to talk about when it comes to a person, right? A person's dreams, a person's actions, a person's ability to make people feel things right like there's so much that we can talk about when it comes to people and there are billions of us billions Ugh. all you have to do as one of the billions is live your life in love right literally like you are in the love the love surrounds you it's everywhere you cannot escape the love you are in it <laughs> live your life like that and you'll be so fine you will live your life in love if you live your life in love. <laughs> big surprise i guess more importantly why love again oh i just use a tiny tupperware of a lid and keep the alcohol in it until next use oh. back into the container filter resin ash and i actually keep a dry stash of the resin for emergency fire starter i didn't think it was gonna go there I thought it was going to be emergency weed to smoke, which you can technically as well, but I wouldn't recommend it kind of like, oh yeah, use it until it doesn't clean anymore. Yeah, so again, the fact that the alcohol goes brown just means that there is more now parts per million of the resin, of the oil, in the alcohol. However, there are still billions of alcohol molecules that haven't had anything attached to them yet. So the alcohol will still work as a solution long after it doesn't look the same clear color that it used to be, which is cool. I mean, it's million fumes. Oh, bowling. I love bowling so much. I am objectively terrible at it, but I own my terribleness. Good. Good. As long as you're having fun again, right? As long as you love it. You do lose some alcohol to the environment because it will evaporate, but you definitely can reuse it as much as you are safe and smart with it. We even repurpose the leftover alcohol. You can. Maybe that's the fire starter fractal. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. You use it until it doesn't clean anymore. When I would clean the bong, I would put salt in the bong and ISO and shake, shake, shake. That's true. Salt is also really great for these things as well. If you're having a hard time getting it clean, adding some salt and then again, get yourself a little dropper bottle. They're super cheap, super, super cheap. Dropper bottle and Q-tips. And then you can just drip the droppies with the salties and you can easily clean something as well that way. Table salt and rock salt. 
are a clean bunk's best friend. I finish an alcohol clean of a saltwater rinse to remove all traces of the chemicals. Nice. Midwestern bowling is one of the few things they do in the winter. This will be the first time I've done it sober and during the daytime. In college, it was 25 cent beers on Monday nights. It seems a little bit... questionable, I'll say. Right? Because surely people will take advantage of 25 cent beers. But surely they ought not to, because it's Monday night. <laughs> Am I the only one that's missing, missing something here? I feel like bowling is low-key coming back, right? Maybe. I mean, people wanting to just spend time with one another is coming back, I think. I have no idea. I'm a shut in dad now of a small child. I don't know what's cool or trendy. Did it ever leave? Probably not. You know you would move, melt, walk away from the mosquitoes. You could move, melt. No. That would be a dick defeat. That would be like, you know, giving the world to the mosquitoes. No. I stand my ground. Strong man. Stand ground for battle. Yeah. Did it ever. It might have become less popular, but it was always there. Anyways, I hope the male community has a blessed day. It is a day to be present in and a day to appreciate life and the world we live in with the people we live here with. Love yourself and your own. Tell those you love, you love them and appreciate the small things. Go compliment the stranger today as well. The smallest thing can change someone's life. Beautifully said, Kartha. Thank you for sharing that wisdom. Well, you still feed the hummingbirds from feeders mouth. You don't lure them into starve. Oh, that helps. The hummingbird horror. They just show up and there's no food to eat, bro. They're like, bro, what do you mean, dude? We saw orange ribbon. We saw orange ribbons, duck dad. Where's our feeder? I have a little ant on me. You see. It's holding on. One more heat cycle, and then we're gonna read what the spider says. <laughs> hey, Fit Demon. It's nice seeing you here, friend. <sighs> you did say you were gonna join us, and here you are. Bless. We're just about finished. <coughs> <coughs> There we go. Love is true. I posted one with Flash in case you couldn't read it. Thank you. I can. I can read both. I think the spider looks better here as well. Weirdly enough, the spider webs has the same colors that we've had on stream today as well. Whoa, like, whoa, my brain got like taken for a ride for a second as soon as I saw her, her fingers coming from underneath the frame. I don't know why my brain was like, whoa. My fingers don't, do my fingers like that? <laughs> Love you, Zano. Your nails look nice. There's the card. There's the reading as well. And then I'll read for you, friends. Creator of prosperity. Through life's work, 
Dharma. The spider is an ingenious creator. Its greatest gift is weaving the thread of Dharma into a vast, intricate web that supports the spider and those around them, both financially and spiritually. Yozano, it is hard work, but the spider neither tries nor becomes impatient. Neither tires nor becomes impatient, bro. I become impatient. I don't tire, really. Like, I, I don't tire when it comes to what people would consider tired. The, t the type of tired people tell me they are sometimes, I feel like I have more of an immunity to. Maybe that's the spider in me, right? But the impatience, the impatience, woo, the one that I need to work on. This card reminds us creativity is everywhere. Be process oriented rather than result oriented. And soon your work becomes like weaving of magical priceless tapestries. Abundance flows. This card reading is doing something for me. When in balance, we are appreciative, enthusiastic, and prosperous. When out of balance, we become discouraged, tired, and forlorn. Hey Google, define forlorn. Pitiful, sad, abandoned, or lonely. To be forlorn. Unlikely to succeed or be fulfilled. A forlorn attempt to escape. Unlikely to succeed or be fulfilled. Forlorn figures at a bus stop. Pitiful, sad, abandoned, lonely. To bring into balance is to be playfully creative. I feel like today's filter has a certain creative playfulness attached to it. Right? Like, so much so, I like it so much, uh, I am becoming attached. Why? I don't know. Maybe because I want to suffer. <laughs> and I know that sounds very coy, but I'm serious. Uh, because eventually this filter is going to go away. And then I'm going to be sad about that or something. Right? <laughs> Right? Is that... Am I bamboozling myself? Nay. Nay, I'm going to read this card again. Because I feel like I need to absorb even more of the message. The spider is a creator of prosperity through life's work. Dharma. You create prosperity through your life's work. There is no other way to do it. Hey, Google. Define prosperity. A state of being prosperous. <laughs> a successful, flourishing, or thriving condition, especially in financial respects, to have good fortune. Prosperity, to be prosperous in circumstances characterized by financial success and good fortune. The spider god is watching us, pulling strings, right? pulling all the strings. Love you, spider goddess. I do. I do. I've been celebrating you. Ask anybody. Ask anybody. <laughs> we had this, oh man, I'm not going to go down that fractal hole. Like there is, yeah, people will tell you things and then tell you to ask anybody. And just that is like a. It makes me laugh. I don't, I don't know why. I don't have to go there. I'm going to bring myself back. The spider is an ingenious creator. Its greatest gift is weaving the thread of Dharma into a vast, intricate web that supports the spider and those around them, both financially and spiritually. It is hard work, but the spider neither tires nor becomes impatient. 
This card reminds us creativity is everywhere. Be process oriented rather than result oriented and soon your work will become like the weaving of a magical priceless tapestry. Abundance follows. The second reading is even more trippy. Use the filter till it's gone. Yeah, you like, right? Because again, no, do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot of chefs in the kitchen, right? Because there's this chef that goes, yo, I want to use this. It creates, and it still keeps the reality that I'm trying to show you, friends. Let me see what it looks like if I try and share like sun, sunsets or stuff, right? Let me, let me see what it, it is a little bit dissociative. A little bit, right? But I mean, these streams tend to have that effect a little bit, right? Like a little bit. So there's a sense of like synchronicity in that, right? That I, that I approve of, this part of me that I am. And then there's also the part of me that just thinks it's cool, experientially speaking. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, yes, I do. I do like it. It, it's pretty brain melty. This is kind of what it's like on being high dose psychedelics, which is surreal to me, right? Because I, I do find value in those experiences, and and just being able to press a button. And now the feed I, I give you, friends, looks kind of like that. There's me. Whoa, I have shadow? Man, I'm doing... Look at all of that rendering. Damn. 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 Man, it's actually it's like it follows me beat for beat. <laughs> for real, though, this card is so validating for me. Thank you, Zano. Thank you, Zhao. For listening. Thank you for taking a moment to send a message as well. Appreciate Zana for her lovings. Thank you for that card, Paul. I'm glad you like Jovan. This filter made me worry. I'm being spiked at first, right? 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 Like it's, it's actually wild, dude. Uh, I have this deck too. What are the odds? I'll be off to work for the next 15 days. So I'll be dropping in more. Bless you, Fit. It's going to be nice having you. This is mad, that mad me, lol so hard. Use the filter till it's gone. Having a staycation for a couple of weeks. It's going to be amazing. I've never left, oh, I, I might never leave my bed the whole time. No, dude, you need to go outside a bit as well for yourself. You deserve that. Mm. You know the scene in old school when Will Ferrell gets shot in the neck by a trank dart. It feels like that. Yeah, suddenly he goes, Ooh, what is happening? I think I'm... I'm sorry. All right. I mean, I still... Let's see the zoomy, zoomy lens. Zoomy, zoomy. I mean, I'm, we're not going to get good, good shots shooting into the sun right now like that. Wow. The way it looks like the trees are creating like a smoky smokiness. Very psychedelic. Very, very cool. This? Yes. Mix feel thing. <laughs> All right. Enough. Enough playing with the filters. It's only going to get more wacky, isn't it? There's probably eventually going to be a button that turns me into a cat or something. And now suddenly I'm just a cat. This is a cat dude live streaming. Here's what I was thinking. There's Zano Han. 
opening her bulk into my fractal. Wow. That is pretty surreal. Have you seen this corner directly? I, I have actually. But it's weirdly enough taking me straight to have you seen Donnie Darko? Alright. Alright. Enough. Enough looking at things through another set of eyes, right in front of your set of eyes. Arr. Hmm. Suddenly, I think you're pretty stable. Maybe I'll switch off. I'll switch off the filter when I'm moving about and I'm trying to show you world stuff. And then I'll switch on the filter if we're gonna sit down and have chatty chatties. I wonder, it might end up being like a little bit of a privacy filter for people in the that walks in the background if I'm streaming at like more populated places. I'm gonna wrap up all these fractals. And remind myself again that love is true. That all of the things that happen have given me things to talk about, good and bad. And that if love is true as a, as a higher dimensional principle remains, then maybe even the bad things have some sort of value. Even if the only value they have is that they give us something to talk about. And maybe that is enough. Yeah, like that. I would abuse a button that turned me into a cat. I might I might do it as a joke for a few seconds, but that, that one I, brought, I wouldn't be able to tolerate. Remember when I was telling you about the whole version of me that's okay? This version of me that wants to do this? The version of me that's not okay with me doing this is the version of me that wants to eventually use this. Right? Because I know there's a version of me seven years maybe maybe eight years in the future that wants to use all of these live streams and he is not actually that happy about me using these filters because it messes with the data there's like a certain level of consistency that i've been inputting that creates a data set that can be relied upon and adding weird notes like this might mess with like for instance right if i make another version of me uh, that is electronic in nature but is trained on all of the data that i have inputted in the stream these frames right there might be like a literal split second whereas that version of me might be talking to you you see its hands kind of like eviscerate like that a little bit and then suddenly your your mind's going to be like and that is a uh... <laughs> what a fractal! Bro. What did I just see, dude? I found a new filter. That you want to see what it looks like? I smoked and the fucking taste of it was just overwhelming. I had to run somewhere. You know what? And then I came here and you were here. I'm like, I looked at the left and I just red see. Red-handed. <laughs> uh, Joy V bought herself the. Dino that B bruh, as well. Oh, that, nice. that one you want to get from. Yeah. So it's a fractal. And then look dude. What are we looking? Whoa. Yeah. Look at me uh, phasing in. Yeah. Two pack of seats for me. <laughs> <laughs> Two pack of seats for me. <laughs> That's really cool. Right? Is it just a filter? Yeah, it's just a button I press. Oh. And then YouTube does that for me. Why would YouTube? And now your hands look up, buzzy. You can do buzzy things with exactly, this. Exactly, yeah. this feels nice. like some energies. Nice. And then when you when you look at the world, it very much is like high dose psychedelics, dude. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. like the world is melting in front of you. And it's so fitting for your yeah, right. Well. And I was like having this conversation about how there's two versions of me. This version of me that's like right now in this moment, be like. Mm cool yeah it's nice and then the version of me eight years from now that's trying to use this data and being like this fuck 
why did you do yeah, this? Yeah, just putting yeah. like filters baked into the content that I'm trying to use. So I'm like, they're fighting in there. Should I respect the the eight year from now version of myself? I like it. I like it too. I That's like it a cool. lot. And and I was like joking it's as well. It's just an extra layer. Yeah, like and I, and I was talking about the attachment right, that was forming with me mm. feeling like I do like it enough to do that, yeah. right? And then I was like, mm, you know what's happening? I'm liking it enough to get attached to it because I want to suffer. Because eventually they're going to take that filter away oh, and then I'm going to be sad about it. Like, well, then at least you have the days mm, you mm, you can count the days of how long the filter was available yeah and you know like <laughs> our, our friend Zano is like yo use the filter till it's gone oh, yes do it. every day welcome to the Dynavab family hey Fit Demon also has a Dynavab dude Very we nice. have now Melida we have Duck Dad we have now Joy V the whole cult. Yeah, bro, Demon. Yeah, that's that's gonna be the brand, bro. Right? All of us stand Dynavaps. You know, because they do want that. They do like brands these days do basically, you know, build themselves like cults. <laughs> like legitimately. Like a rary. And I would love to be, weirdly enough, sponsored by Dynavap. One hundred percent. I would approve of that sponsorship. I would. I, I'll I'll lovingly tell you about how great the data app is. You know, they they literally haven't paid me anything, and I'm telling you about it. So if they would pay me for it, I wouldn't be opposed to it. However, the fact that I'm a South African makes it very unlikely, relatively speaking. So a part of me, the part of me that uh, has very aggressive energies. Uh, wants to just make my own, right? Like, oh, I'll, I'll just make one. It's, it's not rocket science. It's just uh, CNC programming, realistically speaking. Uh, I would abuse a button to turn to a cat. Bless again. Joy, if you were a cat, you'd be perfect adventure companion, super helpful, friendly with strangers, and scrappy in a fight. Thanks for the dawn of a family joy. Love is true. Thanks, Fit. It's time to set my joints down. Though I do love them, it was the same when I quit smoking my clothes. I love you, Joby. And I'm so sure your body is going to love you for this change as well. Like, I'm a part of me wants to, like, just do, like, a little walk down memory lane. And it's not as a, like, told you so. It's more as a growth and acknowledging that growth. Right, because we were talking about the whole Dynavap fractal and like the efficiency thereof. And I remember Joy V being like, What do you mean efficiency? You know, I smoke my joint to smoke my joint, and that's what the joint is for to smoke the joint. However, you could Dynavap a Dynavap like 10 to 15 times with like one joint's worth of weed. And you've seen me smoke a whole joint in a stream. You haven't seen me hit my Dynavap 15 times in a stream. <laughs> I don't think I would be able to. I, I've never in like an hour to two hour time period hit the Dynavap that many times. I think it would be devastating. And that's the point, right? Like that, that efficiency carries through. And even though that is a part of it, you can save money that way. You're still technically spending money buying weed. So it's a joke, but still uh, you can save money if you're already smoking joints kind of vibe. Uh, and then for me, the biggest sales point, because that's what I find the most enjoyable is the taste, right? The experience you get to have noticing the difference from strain to strain, because if you're smoking a joint, sure, there can be uh, trace differences, right? And if you've really grown sensitive and you have adjusted your palate, maybe you'll pick things up with the Dynavap, uh, it takes away all the guesswork. Right, and it just gives you the thing you're trying to taste. It doesn't give you any combustion taste, right? Like the, the flavor of something being burnt. When you smell like things, like when you drive past a, a wildfire or something and you smell that burnt smell, that taste exists when you burn plant material, right? It's gonna, what, and what we do when we make a joint is basically a single use chillin'. You're creating a coal, right? 
And I feel like this is something that I, I like to say to people as well with the whole data lab in mind. When you're smoking a joint, you're not actually smoking the coal. You're creating a coal at the tip of your joint that you're then pulling air through that superheats that air. That, it, that as soon as it hits that superheated air, as soon as it hits the plant material just underneath that coal, evaporates the THC off of that plant material. And then it runs through the rest of the material, you know, and you're inhaling it. So you're basically smoking what's happening just underneath that coal as it burns away. And the DynaVap, you essentially create that heat outside of the weed. And then you superheat the air by pulling it through that outside and through the material. You're, you're basically smoking a joint, just like a really cool one, a techno joint. Man. Same, same, but different, but still same. I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked for you to have your Dynavab, Trey Viv. Hopefully it comes tomorrow. The Dynavab cult. Gibba, gibba, we expect you. We expect you. One of us. <laughs> Except Dynavab makes me typo. No, it's fine. It's good. That's the way it should be. We used to complicate it for my little slug brain. I don't know what you mean, right? Like the, you haven't, like, I don't know what you mean. I need more context on that, Zana, because I, I instinctively want to say, I don't agree. I, I consider you a very smart person. And I think you would very much uh, understand the weed experience. I don't know if you don't smoke with your medication or something. Love is true. Joy, I'm jumping in on this love stuff. You've truly been an inspiration. Being able to witness, you embrace your strength and grow for reals, yo. You friends are beautiful. So grateful for you. It's mostly the health benefits of not smoking. I'm looking to. Money saving on top of that is amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I'm, uh, you'll inspire me every day to want to be the best version of myself. And Joy Vive, like I feel that is that is what I'm hearing Jovan say as well, and I want to echo it too. You have been showing up for that growth. <coughs> like it's it's one thing to to want to be the best version of yourself. I think all of us want that, right? In the same way, all of us. Uh, want dinner tonight, right? And this let's let's assume we live in a world where all of us have groceries tonight to make our dinner, which is the way it should be, which is the way it is. And then you can want and want and want and want for the dinner to be made, the dinner for yourself. If you're the only one in the home at that moment, it won't be made, right? Sure, it's going to be best for you. But if you're not showing up for it, there'll be none of it. And you've been such a prime, beautiful example of showing up for that growth, showing up for your yoga, showing up for yourself, for your body, for your health, being willing to let go of the cigarettes, the clothes, of the dopamine, all right? Getting to a point where you want to let go of the combustion, even of something that you do enjoy, like weed as well, instead of letting go completely. Same as me, right? I also went there. Like, weed for me is very much like a, a dear, dear friend. I don't know if any of the other things that I've let go of in the same way I would consider such. Food should be a friend of mine as well, right? I need to, I need to learn that. It has been, with the amount of mangoes I've been eating, it has been more friendly to eat food. I've been liking it. Thank you just again. Like I'm, I'm just so stoked. I love you friends so much. The weed is too loud for me. Thank you for the smart comment. I quit two years ago. THC to Marsaco says, okay, I hear you. Uh, again, the part of me that has absolutely no 
uh, concept of boundaries. <laughs> Part of me that's melty uh, wants to say the nice thing about the, 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 the like just vaping weed in general. You don't have to use that one technically. Is the fact that you can take small sips, and it is so light, right? You're not. We have a word in Afrikaans. It just goes goofing yourself. You've word not goofed me. Like getting goofed is that experience of like too much THC in your brain. Like the fact that this thing doesn't have a big ball size, to me, makes it that I never get to that point where I'm completely like catatonic. I catatonic slash anxious. I don't like that experience much myself either. The loudness. It is weird that you say the weed is loud for you though. Like, I, I with my neurological makeup, uh, find quietness in weed to see the other side of it. But then again, if you if you keep adding quiet to the quiet, eventually it gets loud, right? Right, is that how it works? Like the silence becomes, you know, ear piercing kind of vibe. So I get you there as well. Or maybe in the silence you start and if you're not hyper aware of this you end up uh, bullshitting or like telling yourself paranoid stories that's not useful catatonic anxious is exactly how i would describe weed for me it's annoying you might just have not found the right strain for you i, I sound like such a weed smoker at this point but i do believe that at this point different weed different effects very much so uh, one of the strains that I uh, hope to one day find a very, you know, good specimen of again is a strain called Francis's, either Francois or Francis's lemon cheesecake. That strain did the opposite of catatonic for me. It made me so upbeat and, you know, cerebral, like mind tingly. And that was the fractal that opened up for me this whole, oh, weed has so much depth to it. Well, I need a weed guru. Yeah. 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 Come to South Africa. Come to South Africa. I think it, you know, might be easier for you here. We, we have like a, a system in place to get weed now that is working. You know, you, you share weed in a club. People people basically grow on your behalf and then they share it with you. And you pay them for their labor. You can buy, like, the... I want to call it, like, mids. I think it's called mids. Even though mids aren't... There's nothing wrong with mids that we can get, that I buy, is, like, 15 bucks for 10 grams. Which still is technically a lot, but that lasts about two weeks to a month. Sometimes even longer, depending on your use case. Should last me between two weeks and a month, right? That will be my time frame. So 30 bucks a month is kind of, you know, what you'll spend on the mids. And then the, the more expensive stuff will go up to about seven dollars no six dollars a gram i got that strawberry fields for six dollars a gram and it's very nice stuff and then you buy like a gram you buy like a nug and you savor that right i've had that strawberry fields nug for five weeks now <laughs> five weeks and i take little little bitty bitties every time i'll probably be able to if i take little bitty bitties you know have it for like three or five more weeks so it is this experience of giving yourself a, a range having having some room to play <clears throat> weed is legal in chicago i know luckily but to get a medical prescription 
something does have to actually be wrong. Be it legal for everyone. Heavily taxed though, it's $110 for 3.5 grams. <laughs> no, please. So it would cost me three hundred and thirty dollars. What? What cost me fifteen bucks? Would cost me three hundred and thirty dollars to get the exact, yeah, exact same amount of weed technically. That seems, that seems criminal. If it's legal, I hope you're growing your own plant. Maybe, maybe that's what you should do. If you're, if you're anti getting catatonic, I mean the anxiety might still come through with like a high sativa strain. You can get yourself like a 60-40 hybrid. And you can Google that stuff, right? You can literally go down a list, V-Slag. You can, you can talk about exactly what you like, about what you want, about how weed has affected you. And then it will generate like a little bit of a direction for you. It's also legal to grow, but yeah, good. Uh, it's the kickback politician tax. It is criminal. I think plenty of people grow if they can, and they ought to. A hundred and ten U.S. dollars for three point five grams, and that makes me a little bit sick to my stomach just reading those words. Okay, what happens is, let's say I take weed in the same way as I take my meds now, I would probably be fine, but because of the high factor, I become too detached. And it becomes easier to abuse. There's going to be more context soon, I believe. I hear you. I hear you. It's like uh, your medication creates maybe like a certain level of stability, right? As a loop of like, oh, I, sh I take my medication and then I go through my day and I sleep and I take my medication and I go through my day. Where the weed might be i take my medication i go through my day i feel a certain way i smoke some weed i go through my day i smoke some weed i feel something i go smoke some weed i go to sleep i take my medication i smoke some weed i go through my day i go through my day i go to sleep i right that inconsistency slash spiking that is not that baseline you know loop I get what you're saying. Maybe, maybe I'm misinterpreting as well, but that's the way I see it. My guy charges me 320 euros for an ounce. An ounce is 28 grams, right? So it's like 10 euros a gram. Is it indoor? Is it good stuff, a demon? If it's good stuff, that's not completely unreasonable, but it's still ridiculously expensive. How much is an ounce? Hey Google. How much grams is an ounce? It is 28 grams, yeah. Still not cheap. No, that's 6,000 rand for 28 grams of indoor. <laughs> it's very expensive indoor, but yeah. It's not impossible for me to imagine that like that like the 110 dollars for three grams almost impossible for me because you know beat for beat that would mean it would be like a thousand dollars now maybe like 800 to like 900 dollars for the same amount of weed you got for demon yeah i'm lucky he always has good stuff and it's very reasonably priced 550 if you buy two ounces yeah scale that is still a lot of money though dude like that's, that's more money than I make in a month for 28 grams. And that's how I'm seeing it, you know, like all of my output, my day-to-day -day work, day-to-day -day art, day-to-day -day yoga classes. And then on the other side of the scale, 28 grams of weed. I don't know how that makes me feel. Makes me feel like I am worth more. Mm, yeah, yeah, I will take that. It ain't cheap. It's my main expense these days. I can imagine. It does make sense. Can you grow for yourself? Is it possible? The fact that you're working in euros means that you probably live in a European country, so it might be a little bit wonky still. 
Yeah, lots of people drive the next day because it's so much cheaper. I just got I just got black market. Yeah, they just you know opened a black market with it being so ridiculously expensive. I experience psychosis from weed too many times. It becomes too stressful in my brain, and then I go into mania. It could be because I smoked it for almost twenty years that I developed an allergy. I feel the fact that you understand that about yourself and are willing to stop is something to celebrate. Dear Zano, well done, friend. The demon, yeah, that that what it should be. But for some people, are scared and want to be completely legal. Exactly. Thank you. And um, this usually lasts me six to eight weeks. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, checks out as well, right? Thinking about like the amount an average person smokes, especially if it's good stuff as well. Makes sense. I want to learn to grow mushrooms first, honestly. They're easier, weirdly enough. Like, it's pretty easy. Mushrooms want to grow, right? The types, the type you can eat, the type of mushrooms you can eat. They want to grow, they love growing. All you have to do is give them a chance. I live vicariously, yeah. And I uh, like offering vicariously livable experiences. Yeah, thank you, Zadon. Like, that is in part, you know, why there is a an exchange of energy here. Mm -mm -mm. Can't grow, I'm in Ireland and in a tiny apartment. The demon, did you know? that christian my friend that you've probably seen on stream you couldn't go back to yesterday's stream christian wasn't there for much he had a meeting for like the first hour or something and then he came out uh but he's literally moving to ireland on the first of april so maybe he's, he's moving to dublin though i don't know if you're in dublin <laughs> me being like mm, be friends just be friends why not be friends? Meanwhile, people have their own lives and their own plans and their their own schedules. Just be friends. Come on. Come on, just stop. Mm -hmm. Although weed's probably not hard if I invested into it. I mean you can get again, if you're paying three hundred or if you're paying a hundred and ten dollars for three grams, uh you would have to spend like the amount of money you would spend on 10 to get yourself a relatively decent indoor grow setup and you would be able to produce you can produce like 100 grams and you would literally pay off your weed expenses if you're paying the 110 dollar prices <laughs> in like days in days it's kind of absurd it's like a, it's making me angry. Stop. <laughs> Stop being here. Mm -hmm. Oh, mushrooms would be cheaper, but probably with more fail batches. Uh, I mean, not really. I didn't have any fails. I did do it uh, very meticulously, so that also helps. But if you do it right, uh, you can have a bunch of tries. Same amazing name, by the way. Growing mushrooms is a priority. Cool. I do live in Dublin. Where in Dublin is he moving to? What a trip. What a trip. Let me send him a message. <clears throat> hey, bro. There is a friend in stream right now who lives in Ireland. And I tell him about you and you moving there and moving close to Dublin. Can you tell me where in Dublin you're moving to? I don't know if he'll be able to get to this message soon. But if he does, I'll let you know. What are the odds? I do pay 110. No, haha. Unless I got desperate or something. Yeah, probably. I don't. That's true. That is true. Mm, I'm gonna do some painting today. Bless you on that journey, Zano. 
I am going to say goodbye for now. We'll be here again tomorrow, but for now, we're going to say goodbye. I thank you, friends, so much for joining me again. I thank you, Zano, for giving us a spider card, letting us see into that lens. I thank you, friends, for finding some time to talk about things. For being something to talk about, right? You are something to talk about. I love you so much. I hope you have the most mega massively mostly biggest biggest <laughs> my mind is getting like giga melted by this message and i feel so loving are you ready for this one i'm gonna have to like retune my neurons suddenly i am 10 percent more intelligent <laughs> okay fine here we go <clears throat> I'll have my chat up like this. Have the mega massive mostest, biggest, bestestest, beautifulest of days, everybody. Your for realsers and truthers, so absolutely, positively, certainly, surely, so sacredly seen, meticulous. Not more. And all of you, oh, so very merry. Fairly, fairly like, fairly, fairly like, humbly, mumbly, sweetly, silly, lovely, dovely, charmingly, cheerful, irresistibly, inspiring, coyly, cool, schmutzlingly, sweet, preciously passionate, divinely dreamlike, encompassingly imaginative. Wholesome human animal critter creatures conscientiously giving our focus and energy to the words we use to traversively converse with one another. Damn. Man, if that isn't something to talk about, they should put that up in a museum. Just that, that in text. Right? Have people walk past that and just see this like a sprawl of loving fractal. You know, opening up in front of them. What will they think? What will they say? Huzzah. Huzzah, Jovan. <laughs> I love you, friends, so much. Thank you for joining me. I feel like singing the Go Bay song from Bear and the Big Blue House. Do it. Do it for people. Do it. Sing it play it right now after the stream finishes have a good time i love you friends so much thank you for joining me again i'll see you soon tomorrow all right until we